Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Last week I was in Delhi and while on a lookout for a nice place for lunch, we decided to go to Olive Bar and Kitchen in the Meherali area. Though I was aware that all the designer stores are in that area, but didn't expect it to be right under my nose. You can see where the car is parked is the restaurant area and opposite to it is the fashion maven Sabya Sachi's designer store. The store has two wings, one which is the ready to wear section uh, with saris and kurtas as well as men's wear. And this one houses the bridal wear and couture jewellery, everything that a going to be bride wants for her big day. As I entered the store, I was taken aback as to whether I am in a Maharaja's Haveli or a designer studio. The huge door led to the dimly lit corridors. The high-rise walls were filled up with hand-painted tiles and the ceilings were lit up by exquisite glass chandeliers. Couldn't believe my luck that without any appointment, I could get inside the store and also film a video. What a genius idea to add to his popularity. Every nook and corner of the store is filled with old ittar bottles sourced from different parts of India. The entire mood is nothing less than a king's darbar and why not as Sabisachi himself is a king of couture. There is no dearth of antique furniture, sculptures, pieces of art and Indian miniatures. The staircase leading up to the first floor looks like a museum. There are antique brass utensils and chests. Rare Tanjore paintings and antique mirrors adorn the walls. There were different textures and hues on the walls from designer wallpapers to carlines or the carpet. At least a dozen glittering jhumas gave it the required magnificence. Let's take a closer look at it. This is the jewellery section. The entire room was filled with vintage Dutch plates. The staff were dressed in white and were very cooperative while I was filming this. Their only request was not to capture the articles be it jewellery or lehenga. Wondering how he even managed to source such pieces of art. The pillars and walls had portraits from the 40s and 60s and also a lot of paintings from his runway shows. As I descend down, there is a big mirror covering the entire wall. Aesthetically planned, there is a couch right in front of the trial room for the guests to make themselves comfortable. This is the dressing room where clients can make their dreams come true. Dreamy, dramatic or theatrical, no words are enough to describe this opulence. Coming to a point where words fail but the saga remains. Time to come back to the real world. This was my first designer store video but for styling tips and tricks subscribe to my channel. See you all super soon. Until then bye bye. Take care.